Okay, I'm not going to pretend this is the absolute best way to practice hitting with 100% satisfaction guaranteed or your money back, but I will go out on a limb and say that it is a pretty good way of improving using a simple mode right here in the menu. I'll explain the mode and then provide some tips for success that are a little more specific. Using the challenge of the week, you get access to a pitcher who improves in difficulty as you hit better. The reason you have to scroll down this long list of rules is because getting high score in this mode will reward you with real life prizes, you're just accepting the terms in case that happens. In this mode, you are given the chance to rack up as many points as you can before recording three outs. You progress from rookie difficulty to legend each out. Meaning, after each out, you start back on rookie and move your way forward again. There are no fielders, so the only way to get out is to strike out. The reason I think this mode is the best practice for hitting is because it forces you to focus on taking pitches. For settings, I use the zoom camera option and the zone hitting interface with buttons as my input type. I know my screen might look a little odd, it's because I play with an invisible strike zone and an invisible PCI. I don't recommend that you do this, I just prefer how it looks and the added difficulty it provides. Anyways, in MLB The Show 20, swinging at strikes is more important than ever. Or maybe a better way to say it is swinging at pitches outside the zone is more costly than ever. It is very very difficult to do anything with a ball and this challenge mode provides good practice for this skill. You should be able to gain some confidence on the lower difficulties before needing to buckle down and face legendary stuff where it is very hard to succeed. But that's all part of the challenge and the process of getting better. I understand it may not be very fun if you dislike the given pitcher or hitter, but it's a fast and easy mode to get into that keeps track of your score, allowing you to gauge your progress fairly accurately. You can retry the matchup as many times as you like, and if you are uncomfortable with the global high scores being right there on the screen, you can adjust the leaderboard so that only the competition you feel is with your previous self. Now I'll go over a few particular things that you should pay attention to when you're at the plate. In my opinion, the most important philosophy I hold in the batter's box is to think fastball, react to off-speed. This is the mindset of a lot of major leaguers and it applies to the video game as well. It is almost impossible to catch up to a fastball if you are not ready for it. I'm not saying hitting becomes easy as you will get fooled by good changeups and breaking balls, but at least you'll have time to adjust to the off-speed as you get better. Another viewpoint I hold might sound simple, but I think it's important to remember. Don't try to hit every pitch. What I mean by that is, hit it when it's there. That's the motto. If it's in the strike zone, go after it. I know it's not a perfect philosophy and it might seem too straightforward, but I find it helps to remind myself of that when I notice I'm swinging at everything. You have to remember that the best hitters in real life are only successful around 30% of the time. Baseball is a game of failure. You shouldn't get upset at your mistakes, just try your best to learn from them. One last minor tip is swinging with the circle button when you have two strikes. This is the equivalent of choking up on your bat in real life. Your goal is just to make contact with these swings. You'll be given a larger PCI in exchange for the ball not going nearly as far even if you square it up. I understand there's no foolproof strategy to become a better hitter, but I hope I provided some new trains of thought for you to explore while at the plate. The only proof I have of it working is my own success in the game. I don't play much online, and I know it's a small sample size, so take it for what it's worth. Adam Dunn is the best player in the game, and later days.